Alex, did you know you're the funniest guy on the planet? <laughs> Do you agree with that? Cap. <laughs> How we doing guys? So we were gonna do just regular vlog this week, but we've got a lot of questions recently and you know That was expected instead of a vlog this week, which will return to a regular vlog next week But this week I just want to answer a few questions because you guys have had a lot it seems like so I took it to my Instagram story and Asked you guys to submit some. What was your first thought about Natalie? Uh, my first thought was obviously that she was really pretty how I met her um, Technically it was through Instagram. I DM'd her in 2017 it didn't really work very well, but we have mutual friends too. So I knew of her and she knew of me, I think, All right? You kind of knew me. Yeah. Well, we followed each other since 2017 because I slid in her DMs 2017. Didn't work out very well. I followed you back then. Yeah, she followed me back then, so. Yeah, but then I re-slid in the DMs this year and it worked out well. You know, there's a little delay at first. You know, she took a, a while to respond, but eventually she responded. How long have y'all been together? Like two and a half months dating. Mm -hmm. And like talking like six months. How long have you guys been saved? So I think I was saved when I was like 10 years old, um, but I, I wasn't like truly dedicated and to a, to a good point in my relationship with Christ in t until like two years ago probably. What do you think your answer to that is? I guess I thought I was in high school, but I would say more so recently, maybe like a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. When we did that prayer fasting thing. Me and her prayer fasted for like a week and that was really big for both of us but especially for Nat and that's probably when Nat was genuinely saved at that point. <laughs> Pick up lines used on Nat. Well if we want to go back to it I'll try to find the screenshot. Hi I'm writing a paper on the finer things in life and was wondering if I could interview you. That was exact what I said. <laughs> and she said haha are you serious and uh, I think that was it I don't think there was anything else after that no snapchat nothing you know you said something and you had to have unsent it yeah I think I did say something after that and she probably left me on read and I unsent it. it yeah anyways <laughs> moving on have you told her you loved her yet yeah we did it pretty um soon in the relationship I've always thought that like saying I love you has never been a big deal to me like I if you love somebody, I think it's just weird that there's like this rule that it has to wait for a long time. You can't say it for a long time. Like, if you think you love somebody, just tell them. Does Natalie ever get tired of all the vlogging? LOL. I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't do it that much to be honest. Yeah. I, I need to do like it more. You do need to do it more. Yeah. So like now I've only been a part of like, even like the vlogs that you have made that I've been in them. It's not like a long process. Like you just yeah. like random. I don't even notice. Have right, time. especially like if we if Brooke's filming or yeah. and I'm I'm a little more obvious because my camera is a lot bigger But yeah, like look at how big this camera is. I'll show you guys what I'm looking at right now Like this thing does not play around Brooks is a little discreet camera that she just holds down here when she's like if you're with Brooke Nothing changes when she's vlogging. It's it's like you don't even the first time I filmed with her when we did the David Dobrik video She I had no idea she filmed the whole thing because she just has it down here like by her waist and like you're just talking to her and you and she's looking at you in the eyes when you're talking to her so it's like with me it's different because i have like the camera up in your face do you like natalie more than brooke yeah Aww. i mean I, i'm dating you <laughs> but i love brooke obviously brooke's incredible do you talk about marrying each other or would you want to we've talked about that it's pretty early in the relationship we've been dating two months yeah we, like, I mean, we like put it out there it seems it crazy. does sound crazy but like I'm dating to marry and so is she like I'm not dating just to have fun and then dump her and go through heartbreak on purpose like right. the only reason I'm dating her now is because I see potential in being able to marry her. How do you involve Christ in your relationship? It's pretty foundational for me and her um, and it has been since the beginning. We've made it like foundational so saying that we've done a lot of things to make sure it's structured into our relationship and sometimes we've slacked like the last week or two we've slacked um, but we try to have where we read together every day and pray together every day. And especially for guys, because kind of being a leader in a relationship, it's really important. But for girls too, like, um, if that's something you want in your relationship, it's going to take boldness in the beginning. Um, you're, you're not going to be able, yeah, you're not going to be able to go into a relationship and want a Christ centered relationship without being a little bold. Like I was uncomfortable at first to pray with her or to ask her to read with me, but I was like, this is what matters the most to me. And it's like, if I'm uncomfortable, I better get comfortable with it because like, I'm not willing to compromise that in a relationship. So I got comfortable with it. And if and you just gotta think to yourself, like if you, if you want that in a relationship, you gotta make yourself bold enough to just do it. And if they think that's unattractive for some reason, it's not the right person anyways. So 
um, the best thing is just to be bold with what you want and with us, um, with me at least, I wanted a Christ-centered relationship and luckily she did to start taking action. You know, you can't just say you want a Christ-centered relationship and do nothing about it. It takes action. So, kind of went on a little rant there to be honest with you. Yeah, you did. What's your favorite date spot? We went to a pretty cool place yesterday. Yeah. What should... are they calling? I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, I don't either, but I'll put it on the screen here. What's the best part of our relationship to you? I feel like with just about everything, we're pretty open with each other. I feel like you're better about that, honestly. It's like, <laughs> you're better at um, just like as soon as there's a problem, you're really good at talking about it, putting it out in the open. Mm-hmm. She naturally likes to like think about things for a long time and before she talks and I like to just get it over with quick because it's like there's no point to me. Unless it's a big deal, but like there's no point in small things letting them linger. At what point did you know you're more than friends? Date one. It's like, I'm not gonna hang out with a girl one-on-one -on -one that I think is just gonna be my friend at this age. What's your biggest pet peeve about one another? I don't really have one of you. I don't have one about you. No. Oh. Is there any specific thing she always gets mad about? Is there? No. We literally don't have problems in our relationship until I decide to just get like upset about like stupid things. Yeah. Right? It's like never like Maybe I should really put the camera over here for deal. lighting. Uh, and see, just the fact that she says that is huge. Um, but yeah, we have a pretty solid like relationship until it's her time of the month and she starts going off on funny things like for example can i tell them the one no no that one's so embarrassing see, let's just see how this feels when i explain it to an audience no i know I how it feels included. i know it's stupid she wanted one of my t-shirts okay. and it was in my dirty my dirty basket of t-shirts because i she had worn it all week and she said she wanted one of my t-shirts so i was like i'll give you one that I know no, you like wearing. No, it got like really dirty and he was like, I'm gonna throw this t-shirt away and I know how important his t-shirts are to him. So I was like, and like little stuff had been said like a few times before where I was like, okay, let's test him and see if he gives me a t-shirt. A and free <laughs> gift. I know, I know. But so he went and got the t-shirt that he said he was gonna throw away and I was like, this just confirms yeah, everything. Yeah, but it was like, no. And it blew up into something that was just. Not me. Who has better style? Probably her because it's her job. How close are Brooke and Natalie? They're pretty close now. They're, they're good friends. Yeah. Brooke is the sweetest human being. This one says, how are you guys juggling both Jesus and a relationship? I would not say that that's a good analogy for it. Um, I wouldn't say I'm like juggling Jesus and a relationship. I would just say like the characteristics of Jesus and what I've learned in the Bible um, is how I view things. It's like I'm looking through a lens um, that's different than a lens of like looking through the world's lens. It's like looking through the lens of Jesus of how you approach things. And honestly, like just practically, apart from like the spiritual side of being a Christian, it's like just the practical things of the characteristics of Jesus help so much in a relationship, being patient with each other and loving each other, even when you don't feel like it's serving each other. Like, if you think about this in a relationship, here's some good relationship. And, and Christians a lot of times understand this just because this is how Jesus was. But if you are constantly serving each other and all I care about is serving her and all she cares about is serving me, how could you ever have a problem? The, the problem is when you get selfish and you forget and you think that they should be serving you. But if you're constantly focused on serving each other, you can't go wrong. You know? Yeah. The patient aspect is really good too. Alex yeah. Is, Alex is really patient. And that's something I should work on. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay. There's okay, a lot of areas like... that I that I slack in that she's really good at. Um, you know, it's never going to be. We've talked about this so many times. It's never going to be 50-50. For some reason, a lot of relationships seems to be like competitive. Like you're trying to be like right all the time. But it's like it's it's a team effort. You're rooting for the same cause. Go team. Go team. When is Nat coming out with a YouTube channel? I don't know, maybe next month. Really? I need to just say that so I'll do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'll even help you edit. You heard it here first. Woohoo. Where do you see the relationship in five years? Well, hopefully in five years we're married. In five years, things are still going the way they're going. We're probably gonna be married. A little dog and a cat. Mm, we'll see about that. And a cat. What's something you wish to accomplish in life? It's the only constant that I've always been like, I can't wait 
for that one day. It's like having family and stuff. Just because my mom was such a good mom. She was like, that still was like is. a very, yeah, she still is. That was like very family centered my whole life. Alex, did you know you're the funniest guy on the planet? <laughs> Do you agree with that? Cap. <laughs> Um, Are you sweating? Are you nervous? A little bit. <laughs> what tips and suggestions do you have for those who want a deep connection with God? What's your tips and advice? I feel like, um, obviously, reading. Um, but also, like, what helped me a lot was that prayer fasting thing that we mentioned before. Just um, praying a lot. Taking time to, like, disconnect and be by yourself and pray. It's big. What about you? If you are seeking him, you will find him. We're promised that in the Bible. So seek him and surround yourself with people who are also seeking him, who love him. Be involved in a church and um, be in your Bible and praying a lot. And um, if you seek him, you'll find him. If you want a good place to start, I would start in the New Testament, like go to like the book of Matthew. Ecclesiastes. She likes Ecclesiastes a lot. Does Natalie know how to swing metal? <laughs> she better, or this is not Did going you anywhere. Did you play softball? Did you really? So attractive. Did you swing metal? Oh, what absolutely. What? What did you just do? Nothing. No. Did you swing metal? Huh? What did you do? <laughs> yeah, I swung metal back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> I never actually swung metal legitimately. Guess each other's celebrity crushes. Madison Beer. And she kind of looks like Madison Beer, so. Hers? I don't even know. I don't think I have one. <laughs> <laughs> this one cracks me up. Did you only date Alex because of his monstrously muscular neck? Be honest. Mm-hmm. 100%. That's what I thought. I feel like I've never noticed that you have a fat neck. Until everybody comments about it. I do have a pretty thick one. Good luck choking Why me. did you just slap it? Weirdo. Natalie, what are your thoughts on the gray plus brook tattoo that Alex has? And that should tell you enough. Mm -hmm. Have y'all helped each other grow spiritually? Yes. 100%. And how do you see Jesus in each other? I will go first. Natalie is a very kind, loving servant, and she is very good at serving people and loving people. Sweet. Honestly, just your patience. Not just that, but like that one is so attractive and it's something that like I don't have in myself. I'm just not a very patient person and you just, even in like, bad situations you're just super patient and still loving um and especially with me but like with others too who initiated the first kiss who initiated the first kiss do you want to take that one away nat <laughs> on our first date too <laughs> but to virgin hotels they have a nice rooftop here we're up on the rooftop on this little couch area just looking over the skyline and I'll alex just... was talking to me and i just you should kiss him. She sure did. It was pretty incredible. It was pretty incredible. I was not expecting it at all. I knocked your socks off, didn't I? <laughs> did you donate your clothes after you're done with them or sell them? I have a Poshmark that I sell them on. Or you like to know it, right? Yeah, I like to know it for like my stuff. That's like pretty cheap since I'm like reselling it basically. It's on Poshmark. I should just be not leaking on there. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching. Uh, next week, we got a regular vlog coming again but i just want to answer some of you guys' questions because i know you guys have had a lot recently i hope this helps you understand our relationship a little bit better or get to know natalie a little bit better because you'll be seeing a lot more of her um i love you guys we've said it a lot of times but we're almost to 100k baby <laughs> almost there please subscribe you guys are the best see you next week for a vlog Can I answer some questions? Real nice. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that'll be. <laughs>